Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email template from scratch using a drag and drop builder. Although you have an option inside email campaign to design the email template from scratch, but here we are going to make the email template so that we can use the email template multiple times in different campaigns. So here you need to head over to your templates section where you can create a new email template using the drag and drop builder over here. So I'm going to click on create and this will take me to the email builder page. Now here I need to select the base template upon which we can start doing the customization. So I'm going to name it as new email template and here I'm getting a variety of options that I can choose from so that I can take this as a starter and I can start customizing things over here. So here we are getting the blank template, but we are also getting one column layout, one dash two column layout. And here we are also getting the example of how it is going to look like once we import these things inside SendMaze. We are also getting the featured one. So it's a news digest. If you already have a blog page and you want to import the blogs from there, then you can use this one news digest. And if you want to use the product abandoned cart emails, you want to send the product e abandoned cart emails, then you can use these templates over here. But let's just head over to the one that we have on top and let's choose any one of these. So I'm going to choose uh, this one, which is two, one, two column layout, and I'm going to click on start design. This is going to be our base template that we will be using. So look at this. This is what we are getting over here. If you want to choose uh, a template where you want to design everything from scratch, sure, you can do that. But here you're getting a ready made template which you can start customizing. So here, if you want to use your own logo, then head over to this, click on change logo and go to the file manager where you can upload your own logo and use the one over here. So you just need to click on add the file choose the image that you want to use over here. For example, I'm going to choose this logo over here. So I can import it inside sendmaze.io. And now if I go back, I can always use this. So look at this, I'm getting this over here. Now, if I want to open this in browser here, you can see we've already put in the tag, which is the view web view link over here. So we've already put in the web view link over here so that you don't have to do it on your own. But if you click on the link here, you're getting an option to choose the web view link so that if anyone clicks on the link, they can also get the web view URL of this. Now here we can start customizing the email and you can start personalizing things over here. Now here you can personalize things based on the list that you have chosen. So if I go to my tag section, what I'm getting is I'm getting the list name, list subject, list from name, the current year, the campaign from name, campaign subject, campaign name. We are not getting the first name, last name because we have not choosing any list as of now. So we are not getting things like first name, last name. This is something that you will be getting once you use this template inside your campaign. As of now, we are just creating a template that we are going to be reusing inside our email campaign. That's why we are not getting any option of like first name and last name. So as of now, we are not going to personalize anything. We're just going to leave it as hey and then whatever text we want to put over here. When we are launching the campaign, during that time in the tag section, you will be getting an option to choose things like first name, last name, countries, and whatever custom column that you have created to personalize your email. Now, if you want to upload an image, then you can do that over here. And if you want to add more widgets, then you will have to head over to the widgets tab over here. So let's explore what do we have besides the widgets that we have placed over here. We've already used logo. We've already used text. We've already used columns so that we can put multiple elements over here. This is the column inside which we have put in this image, these two images over here. 
uh, here you can use the intro you can use one column or two column tabs which you can see this is the one which you, we have just used over here you can also put the pricing table so let me just drag and drop and show you how the pricing table will look like so this is the pricing table we also have the divider so if you want to separate the content from each other then you can use the divider over here we also have things like articles so we can put it over here now if you click on show more you will be getting even more options like button videos tables right so let's just choose video and let's try to import any of the video so here it's asking for the url so here you will have to put the video url in order to use that but as of now we're not going to be putting the video url now let's just see what else do we have we also have the rss so if you're if you're running a blog then inside this you can put the link of your blog and it will fetch all the content from your blog let me just quickly show you how that works so here in this link you have to put your rss url uh, if you have a wordpress then your rss url is going to be your website followed by feed so here if i put https www dot the domain that i want to put over here and then followed by feed and then i can click on load it is going to fetch my blog articles from there so just look it over here so it has quickly fetched all the recently written blog article from the website over here and now if i want to customize anything i can do that as well over here so i have i'm getting an option to change the background color font family font color you know everything over here but and if i want to hide anything for example if i want to you know hide the tagline or if i want to hide the feed subtitle i can do that as well if i want to hide the feed title i can do that as well if i want to make any customization for example here instead of just putting something here i want to put as author i can do that as well so that's one of those widgets that we have added beside this uh, we can also add youtube video so you just need to place the youtube video over here and put the url of your youtube video so let's just put one of the youtube video and let's look at this so we are getting the thumbnail of the youtube video which we can click and start playing now let's see what else we are getting over here we're getting the social links which you can see over here we've already placed these social links now uh, from the settings tab you are getting the option to customize these things so you can choose whatever you want to customize and you can start changing the background color now once you are happy with the template that you have just designed over here you can start looking at the mobile and the tab version of those templates if it looks mobile friendly is when you can go ahead click on save and close and start using this template so let me just click on save and close and in the upcoming video i'm going to show you how do you personalize this template even further when we are using this inside an email campaign that's it for today if you have any question drop it down in the comment below i'll see you in the next one